Hello, graduates, family members, and friends. My name is Kelsey Cairo. I am a spring 2024 holistic health coach graduate and a registered nurse. Making a difference has always been my passion in life. As a bullied teen, I surrounded myself with fantasy novels of all kinds, heroes and heroines fighting evil and using their skills and know-how to make changes. Stories about how one person can make a difference in a harsh and destructive world. In my literary adventures, there was one novel called Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier that truly inspired me. The novel's protagonist, a young girl, uses her vast knowledge in pl of plants and folklore to save her brothers from an evil curse. This author used real herbalism techniques to explain how to use these plants to heal everything from cuts and broken bones and scrapes to major infections. I became obsessed with plants, wanting to understand how they work, how they can help, and how they can heal. This le led me to majoring in anthropology at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I learned, wanted to learn how Native people were able to take care of themselves and their families with the world around them. My destiny didn't lead me to accomplishing my degree in that field, but I can't say it hasn't been useful. Understanding and learning the context of human history has taught me that in our pursuit of knowledge, we have lost our wisdom, that the old ways are just as important, if not more important, than new discoveries. As I pursued my de nursing degree and career, I became more and more disillusioned to the process of modern medicine. The way most medicine is done today, it is very traumatic, painful, and fixes the symptom, but not the issue. This was very frustrating to me. I wanted to help people and not hurt them. I began my own research looking into functional medicine and reading authors like Dr. Mark Hyman with his book, Food Fix, and The China Study by Colin Campbell. I was shocked to find so many systemic issues within our government that have led to the sickness we are seeing in the general population. From the lack of protection from the FDA to prevent sickness with the foods they allow on the shelves and the lack of education on diet and primary medical care, it's no wonder we are seeing widespread metabolic and autoimmune dysfunction. With the help of the, of the wonderful Spring Lane, I found this community, a wonderful collection of loving and passionate individuals just as motivated to make a difference as I was. I started my journey with all the fire and passion of finally finding my purpose. But as I started to get to the back half of my studies, I started to struggle. Was I going to be enough? Can I meet my own expectations? Can I really make a difference in a system that is made for people to fail? It wasn't until I had an amazing meeting with our own Anne Boyd that changed everything. She told me flat out to get out of my own way, that I was born to do this, and she was right. Everything in my life had led me here for a reason, and I needed to respect that opportunity. I refocused and finished the rest of my studies and coaching. I remind myself daily of something that Amy said, that my success should be measured and how many times I fail at something and still believe in my soul that this is where God wants me to do for my life. We are all here for a reason. We are all here to make a difference for that one person. If we can change one life at a time, we will make a huge difference to the world around us because that's exactly how God works. He uses us individually to create a beautiful mosaic of healing energy to influence those around us. The more we educate and the more we push people to make better choices for their families, their friends, and the more we can create change. With, and with each and every person we inspire, we can encourage our leaders to make the necessary policy changes. With small steps, we can move mountains. I am so proud of our community here. To me, you are all heroes. I am so excited to see the difference that each of us will make in our communities and the world. Congratulations, everyone. Let's go change the world.